Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are continuing with our September Build a Journal, where we spend September building a journal one day at a time. So by the 30th of September, you have a fully decorated journal to work in. Okay, so far we have um, chosen and made our cover. We have chosen our signature papers, our extra pages, put our and put our stamp on the pages by stamping, stenciling, sewing, whatever we wanted to do. We put together our signatures and we added our signatures to our journal. So here is my journal right here. Okay, here's my little journal. My signatures are in and ready to go. And today, for today's video, we are going to start with the fun stuff. We are going to start making and adding things to our journal to decorate it. So for today, we are making at least five pockets. You can make what, however many you want. If you want a pocket on every page, go for it. I say five, at least five. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make five today. Um, and then in tomorrow's video, which will be the 9th of September, we will add them to our journal. We are not adding them in today. Today is just a fun day of crafting where we don't have to think about where they're gonna go. We're just going to make them. And after we make them, then tomorrow we will add them into our journal, which then we could take our time trying to figure out where best our pockets should go. That is how the rest of the month is basically going. We make something and we spend the next day putting it in. I thought, thought the, I fought, no, I thought, T-H, not fought, thought. <sighs> Don't mind me, it's been a long day. I thought that that would be the easiest way to go about this and make it not as stressful for people, okay? Because I know making a journal can be intimidating for newbies or even people who've made a journal or two or even people who've made many journals. I thought this would be a nice relaxing way to do it. So today we're making some pockets. As you can see here, if you have watched me do journal with me's that I have, my scrap bin. This bin, which is way too small for all my scraps. I really need to go through my scraps. I need to go through my scraps and pick out the ones I'm definitely not going to use and then get rid of them. But here are my scraps and this is what I'm going to be using to make my pockets. Also to make my pockets, I am going to have, if I can get it out here, everything is a mess. I swear. I don't always clean up as well as I should. Let's not judge me for that, okay? We don't judge here. It's a judgment-free zone. So we have that, and then I also have my hole punch to make a thumb notch. I also have, which I don't think a lot of people have, so I rarely use it in videos, but let's see. Let me see if I can dig it out. Here it is. It is an actual punch for thumb notches. And there's people here, so I'll be back later. Okay, so while we were apart, I dug through my stash and I pulled out five pieces of paper that I wanted to use as pockets. Also, here, this is from the collection I used. I did, I did print out some papers here that could be used to decorate tags or belly bands or pockets. So I have these, these are actually bookmarks. Put that away. And these are ATC cards, but hold on. Okay, so what I need to do is cut these papers down to the correct size, which I'm gonna go with five inches because I don't want to go um, too deep into the spine of the journal. Okay. So we're just going to make sure we cut them all to f make sure they're no more than five inches. All of these papers are from different collection paper, I mean paper packs. I just grabbed them out of my stash. Obviously, you saw my big stash. I also, while I was 
because while there are people here, I also um, went through and sorted and got rid of some paper that I'm never going to use. Okay. Two, five. This is pretty high. I'm wondering if I should, maybe I'll just make it into a tall pocket. Let's make it into a thinner, tall pocket. So I'll cut it down to four. Okay. So when you're doing your pockets, you can do, I mean, whatever you want, obviously. These are your pockets. You do whatever you would like. So first things first, let's see if we can find anything to decorate these pockets. Um, I like this one for this, that right there. I telling you, if my head wasn't attached, I'd lose it. I can never find anything. And you can also make your pockets as simple as you want. You don't have to decorate them. You don't have to do anything through your pockets. You make them how you want them. And don't worry about filling them. They will be filled later on this month. We'll be making journal cards and tags. See, I kind of like that. Okay, anything else for this green one? Nope, I don't really see anything else. So maybe this strip right here. I'm just ignoring the dog. You know what he wants? He wants a treat. He just got a treat because the boyfriend left for work and he gives both dogs treats when he leaves. So both dogs had treats and as soon as he left he was barking at me and ran back to the treats because he wanted another treat but he should know I don't give treats I don't give treats everybody else gives him enough treats he does not get treats from me yes. Sammy I'm filming a video could you please stop you don't have to give me that attitude Okay, so I have this here that I'm going to cut to size. Okay. All right, and then I have this paper here. I think I'm gonna back on this paper and then cut around so it pops a little bit more off of the page, off of the pocket. I'm just going to glue this down. I keep losing crap. Everything's falling. Everything's falling. Okay. And then just trim around, leaving a bit of the brown paper. Okay, there we go. And let's ink this. I really need to re-ink my pad. It is dry. I have a reinker, I just haven't done it yet. Okay, so now we're going to glue this on. Has everybody seen that new glue press yet? I don't know how I feel about it. On one hand, I think it's great, especially if you're, if you have weakness in your hands. 
or arthritis or anything like that. On the other hand, oh, I just don't know. Oh, look at that. That is super cute. So we're going to glue this down and then I'm going to punch a thumb notch in the top and ink. Look at that. That's cute. Simple. I like them simple. Okay. We'll use the thumb notch one literally just see that okay the next one I'll use the circle so you can see the difference if you've never seen the thumb notch one now I have to remember when I make tags to make a nice tall tag for this pocket One down, four more to go. So we have this one here. Where's the other piece? Oh, here it is. All right. Let's just go with this one since it's on top. And let's see what we have. What about this with the blue chair? I think that would be good. The blue will bring out the blue. And it's long. Okay, so let's trim this out. So tell me, if you have kids that are still in school, how did their how their days back to school go? My nieces don't go. What day is today? I'm filming ahead. I think today is the seventh I believe and I think this is the day my nieces go back to school their teachers didn't have contracts so they started late yep they started late okay what do you think that's cute hmm anything else Should we do another, this strip here? No, I think that might be too much. Um, hmm. I don't think, I don't think I have, I have this strip. Okay, let's cut this to size and use this strip here for a little something extra. This was the border strip on that last piece of paper. Okay. Put that there and that there. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear my dad talking. He talks to his movies and he knows I'm filming and he just doesn't care. Oh, I should have. <sighs> Hopefully you can't hear him. I should have inked before I put the glue on. Durr. I'm just going to put this in the middle and line it up as best as I can. I really need to get up and close my door. As soon as I'm done with this one, I'll get up and close my door. But then both dogs will be locked in here. Son of a gun. I dropped my glue. Hold on. Okay. simple you could go like crazy with your pockets you could really decorate your pockets I'm as much as I, I try I try to do it and I can't I try to over decorate and I always end up hating how it looks 
So I'm a very minimalist decorator. Yeah, I always end up hating how it looks. Okay, so for this one, we will use the circle punch. So I just estimate, and I'm not gonna measure this out. That looks about good, does it? Who knows? I'm gonna go halfway up the paper and then just clip it. So then here are the differences, okay? So this one is much deeper and not as wide as the other one, okay? So that's the thumb notch, this is the circle. I just happen to have the thumb notch punch but any size circle punch will do. You have really big pockets, you can use a bigger circle punch. You use what you have. I really need to re I have to set some kind of reminder. Ooh, speaking of, I ignored my reminder this morning to take my medication. So I haven't taken my medication yet today. All right, next, this plaid one. This plaid one needs something good here. Um, I locked the dog out of the room. I'm sure he's not gonna be happy and he's gonna let that be known that he's not happy. Um, I'm looking for something with a little bit of the blue. What about this one? Will this fit nicely? It will. And it's got the blue in it and the orange. I think we'll go with this one. And we'll see. This collection... I will keep linked down below through all of my videos since I will be using it. I did get it on Etsy. It's called Brightfall. It's so pretty. I really enjoy this collection. I was talking to my mom. Um, we went to Costco the other day together and I was telling her about, she said to me, she's like, she couldn't believe that I was going to do a video a day, that it was too much work. And I was telling her that when I was looking for the paper, um, well, that's what started the conversation. Then I told her I was looking for the paper and I really wanted to do Halloween. And she said to me, but Amy, Halloween's only one day. I was like, you're right. But last year I did Halloween and I wanted to do Halloween again, but I couldn't find a good Halloween paper that I really liked. I also have a dog next to me panting like crazy, a big dog. Um, I don't know what her problem is, but there's no storm coming. She's acting like there's a storm coming. I just checked the radar. There is nothing. Nothing. Oh. Let's not ink that till after I punch the hole. I think I'm just going to put this one on. I wish I had. And if I have it, oh, you know what? Okay, I had to reach. I'm going to put down a doily underneath there. Do the orange. Bring out some more of that orange. Come on, I know these are doubled here. Okay, there we go. So we're going to do the orange. Do it like that. What do you think? Wish you guys could tell me what you think. I think right there. Great. So let's glue this down. This is when I could use that sticky folio from We Are Makers. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then 
clip this off just for a little something that it's not just one piece of one photo here okay and let's glue this down all right and then glue this guy down okay go and since this is so far up we're not going to use the thumb notch we're going to use the circle okay, there we go and then we're going to ink you don't have to ink you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything on your project that you don't want to do. I am inking only because um, so many of them, I have uh, coffee dyed pages in my um, journal. Wow, I cannot think today. I have coffee dyed pages in my journal and I just feel like inking some of these pockets just helps. So there's that one. And then we have what, two more to do? And this one here, let's see, what's gonna go good with that one? I kinda like this one. What do you think? And I'll cut across the top so it really doesn't look like a tag because that's what it is, it's a tag. Or should I use this one? I think I'm gonna use this one. The dog's barking at the door. I'm not letting him in. He's being a brat. So I'm just gonna cut straight across and get rid of that little hump so it's no longer tag shaped. Or whatever the heck that is, I don't know because there's a little section on the bottom. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, we don't want it. <sighs> okay, this, I'm gonna have to finish this freaking video. I'm getting so annoyed right now. Okay, so we're just going to ink this. Inking is also helps, is very, for, it's the word forgiving that I want to use. Like if you ink something and you cut it weird, you may not see it as well as if you didn't ink. And I am not the straightest at cutting with scissors. Not at all that let's use the thumb notch on this one okay there we go this one's going to be very simple stop it sammy oh my gosh i swear to gosh i am so sorry everybody i really am I may have just screamed shut the F up and my windows are wide open and I kind of forgot my windows are wide open. So that's fun. <sighs> this is the last one. I think I'm going to make it go this way. Do another long tag. And let's see. There's so much orange in this. I kind of want to use this one here. I mean, honestly, between the dog barking for absolutely no reason, I tried to take him out. He didn't want to go out. And my dad talking to the freaking TV, I swear. There's like, I, I, I don't know. I can't film anything right now. Usually when I'm filming, Sammy gets very mad and goes and sits.
out in the living room or the kitchen because he's mad at me. Today, he's just hanging around. Um, let's put another doily. Let's see. Um, why don't we do, should we do white? instead. I think the white's just too bright. And now my dad's pissed because I kicked the other dog out. I cannot win. Also, like, I, I just, I just want to do stuff that I enjoy. Is that so much to ask? What I need to do, and I think I, I was putting it off and I was deciding not to do it, but I think I'm about done. I think I'm going to go downstairs and turn the cedar closet down. We have a, we have a cedar closet. Sorry, that was not me. <laughs> the windows are open. The windows are open and it just shut my door. Um, we have a cedar closet downstairs that used to be for like extra clothes, but I've made my dad get rid of all of his clothes because he never wears them. And he has a huge closet. I don't understand why he needed a cedar closet down in the basement. Anyway, that cedar closet would be perfect to film in. Because I can shut the door. So I think I may have to take that cedar closet apart. There's a lot of crap in it. But a lot of that crap is just what I said. Crap. and um, turn it into my craft area because I've had about enough. I can't. Why is this? Oh, this is from trimming it. Okay. I can't deal with it up here, but also our basement is also gets very humid and things get mold. So I also don't want to go down there because of that. Or move everything down there. Or then have the dog barking up here. Because I'm down there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There we go. Okay. This is it then. Inking this one. And this is our last pocket for the day. So you know what the drill is. You know what your homework is for today. Your homework is to... Let me put the pin in my bottle before I lose my pin or it gets clogged. Okay, so your homework is to make at least five pockets. You can make more. You can make as many as you want. You can have a pocket on every page. It's your project, your journal. You do what you want to do. Like I said, it's yours. You do what you want to do. Um, do as many as you want to do whatever. This is all about you. It's not about me. I mean, this journal is about me, but your journal is about you. So yes, I'm cleaning up because I quickly want to show you all the pockets again, even though you did see them being made, but just for a quick refresher, here are our pockets. I mean, I do, I do truly like them all. Look at them. Look at them. They're all so good. So that is the video for today. Comment down below and let me know if your dogs are annoying as mine, or if you think I should bite the bullet and try to make a crafting space down in the basement. These are my fears. A, that then the little dog who is, has like major separation anxiety will just be upstairs barking the whole time. Cause when I go downstairs to work out, he barks the whole time. Okay. B, that some of my stuff will get ruined because it does get very humid and moldy down there if you don't constantly run the dehumidifier. And my stuff is too expensive. C, having to take all this stuff down there and then take all the stuff out of that closet. It's a lot. It would be a lot of work. 
a lot of work. And I don't want to have to do that. And how's my lighting? And I'll have no natural light. There's no windows. It's a basement. Those are my issues. And I just talked myself out of doing it. I like crafting up here in my room. I really do. I really do. Okay. Even though today was a little bit of a shit show. Sorry about that. I apologize for real life interrupting my videos. <laughs> anyway, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today. You have a great rest of your day.